Well, my son, uh, we've been locked up since the COVID started. You know, we stay indoors, mask, uh, sanitizer, everything. And then I got an uh, announcement where the COVID, I mean, the vaccine was safe for teenagers. I doubted it, so I waited a little longer. And then uh, finally kept announcing that it's safe for kids. And uh, so I, I said, well, instead of seeing him locked up in the hospital where I can't get to him, let me give him the uh, shot since it's safe. Yeah. It was three days later, he was playing with my neighbor's son, real good people, and uh, he just collapsed. And the only uh, thing they could tell me was he died from an enlarged heart. A few days after that, that's when all the news, they started reporting where 60% uh, of the teenage boys were dying because of enlarged hearts. I said, if I would have known that a, a week later, I mean earlier, nothing would have happened. My son would still be here with me. It took detectors, detectives uh, of Edinburgh, they came by and told me the results of my uh, son's death. They're not even doctors. Why is the police department coming to tell me my, my son died from an enlarged heart? A doctor should have notified me. Uh, he was my baby. I raised him from day one. And uh, I mean, I, it's harder on me because I go home to an empty house now. You know, because, you know, he, he was my world. And you were trying to do something good for him. To protect him. Like I said, that was my job to protect him. So I thought that was it. And, you know, I, I went through a lot of depression blaming myself for trying to protect them, and it was the wrong choice. I actually blame the government because they lied to us. They kept the results a secret till it was already too late for me and my son. I mean, if they would have brought it out even sooner, like I said, he would still be here with me. So, like I said, I mean, I love my country and everything, but I have no faith in my government anymore. They took what was more, more important to me. I'll just where parents don't, you know, just think before you even get your kids vaccinated. It's not worth the risk. I mean, not even, even if they said 10%, that's still not worth my child's life. Thank you for speaking. Thank you, bro.